Do you want to give us a, a preview of Sonnet 27? Or is there, is there a, a particular favorite you have that you'd like to brighten our evening with? Well, you know, there is one here, and it's one that I have recorded. I hope you will not feel that you were second choice in this. No, but, no, no. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a few lines of this one because it's one of my favorites. By the way, there are 154 sonnets, and most of them I don't know at all. So it's, Well, you uh, know, um, Judy Dench is spending lockdown learning them. She's learning them. I mean, she's only got to six, but, <laughs> oh. <laughs> but that's her plan. And does she then perform them? No, I don't know what she does with them. I mean, annoys the neighbours. I don't know what she does. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an exercise. OK, well, this is Sonnet 17. Who will believe my verse in time to come if it were filled with your most high deserts? Though yet heaven knows it is but as a tomb which hides your life and shows not half your parts. If I could write the beauty of your eyes... And in fresh numbers, number all your graces. The age to come would say, this poet lies. Such heavenly touches ne'er touch earthly faces. So should my papers, yellowed with their age, be scorned like old men of less truth than tongue, and your true rights be termed a poet's rage and stretched meter of an antique song? But were some child of yours alive that time, you should live twice in it and in my rhyme. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you, Sonny. I'll let you lovebirds Thanks. get off now. <laughs>